and the credit man Willis here and we're talking about how to dispute your credit report. Now the first place of course is to get all three of your credit reports. You can do this for free at annualcreditreport.com. Once you have your three credit reports you want to review them in detail. Often your credit reports, the diff each one will contain different information. This is for a multitude of reasons. Sometimes a lender won't report your account to all three credit bureaus and one of the big keys to this is let's say you have a charge off on your Equifax and your Experian credit uh, reports, but it's not on your TransUnion credit report. If you dispute TransUnion, the credit report that doesn't contain that item, this is just a rumor, but they'll put a little asterisk next to your name and it'll be very challenging to move forward with even legitimate disputes. So please make sure that you review your credit report and only dispute the specific credit bureau that is reporting that item. Otherwise, you could put yourself in a more challenging position. So please just do that step. Uh, the, the second key here is the credit bureaus are not government agencies. They are private for-profit businesses. And what this means is it's a little bit more challenging to have even inaccurate derogatory, you know, totally mistakes removed from your credit report. This is because the credit bureaus don't earn any money by removing and fixing your credit report, even if it's a blatant mistake. And let me go ahead and share what happens. So when you dispute your credit report, let's, and like we said, you have to dispute each one of the three major credit bureaus. So if you have a charge off on all three of your credit reports, that means you're going to have to file three separate disputes. Does this all make sense? If not, please leave a comment below and we'll be happy to explain further. But this is what happens when the credit bureaus get your dispute, they're going to first deem it valid or invalid. Uh, and unfortunately, a common, common frequent result is it'll be deemed invalid and they'll request more information from you. This is just one of the hoops you've got to jump through to prove and say, you know, this really is a mistake. Please investigate it and remove it. But once they deem your dispute valid, and, and often that's the real big challenge and why some people will turn to a professional for help. Uh, please check out some more videos if you want to know some more about that stuff. But here's the key. Once it gets deemed valid, what they're going to do, the credit bureau, they're going to find your dispute valid, and then they're going to get on the phone or they're going to contact whomever it is, the company that's reporting that negative information about you to the credit bureaus, and they're gonna ask them to verify the account, verify the dates, verify the amounts, and this is one of the big benefits for you, is often lenders won't take that time to verify accounts, because when a lender has let's let's use a charge off, a credit card charge off as an example, when a lender, when that account gets charged off, the lender, the credit card company will sell your account to a collection agency and once that account is sold, they can take it and they can write it off on their taxes, but they don't, they're not going to be able to get anything from you directly for it. They've sold their rights to that money meaning that they they don't benefit at all from verifying your account information with the credit bureaus. This means that when when the credit bureau deems your dispute valid, the only the credit card company is only going to be spending money to actually verify your account. And most credit card companies are smart enough and most lenders are smart enough that you know once the account's sold they've gotten their money they they can't get anything else out of the account they can't even collect the money from you even if you sent them a check they can't it's not their property anymore they've sold it off to the collection agency and this means that they'll often not verify the account and if your account is not verified then it must be removed from your credit report that's according to the federal law the fair credit reporting act fcra passed way back in 1970 and that law was passed to protect you that law is like the law that gives you the right to vote it is for your benefit only and what the law really says, and unfortunately it's been translated into some gibberish where we've got talking heads on TV saying that you have to live with bad credit for seven to 10 long years. That's BS. It says a maximum amount of time, seven to 10 long years. There is no minimum amount of time that you must 
live with bad credit. And when you file your disputes, if you have some supporting documentation, such as the account being paid, uh, you know, it's not your account, whatever the situation may be, it's really good to send and pass along your supporting documentation to prove and help support your uh, dispute and the fact that you do have a mistake, an inaccurate, a questionable item on your credit report. Uh, there's a whole bunch of reasons why an item can be questionable, but if you'd like some help with this and you'd like to talk to a credit repair professional, you can get a free credit consultation by calling toll-free 855 655-9869. Again, that's for a free credit repair consultation. That's 1-855-655-9869. If you'd like to know some more, please subscribe and join our congregation. We're going to include a link in the description below to our website, yourbadcreditcard.net, for some more tips. We also have a free report we're giving away, the seven super simple steps to clean credit. This is Dan Willis. Please have a fantastic afternoon. Please like this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them below. And looking forward to talking to you again here soon.